Getting close, man. Need some music. guys feeling today beautiful day here in buffalo man so this is it the first segment i'm just gonna wait a little bit so more guys more you guys can you know come on and we can get this rolling so all my ingredients lined up ready to go let's talk about mise en place first make sure you get all of the ingredients ready in front of you so whenever you want it you just can chop and go instead of going back to the cupboard to get your pasta or going to your fridge to get your bell peppers it's all in front of you knife nice and sharp All right, let's do it. Thank you guys for joining me. We're getting ready for a taste of buffalo at home, July 11 and 12. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be a lot, doing a lot of cooking, like live demonstration. Um, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on the ingredient box, we're gonna be making Rasta pasta today. So we're gonna follow the same recipe, same guidelines, but we didn't add garlic to the box. So if you like garlic, we're gonna add three cloves of garlic to the recipe. If you don't like garlic, just add one. A little flavor. You won't hurt, right? So if you're sitting at home and not cooking along with me, if you want to cook this recipe some other time, for example, you want to cook this for July 4th, just run to your neighborhood tops, get some ingredients, and cook it. So amazing dish to warm your guests. It's different. It's not like the typical pasta you have every day, you know what I mean? It's a little you know, Italian flair, Jamaican together, it's beautiful. Thank you, Tops, for your brand ingredients that we'll be going to be using today. So I find this on my shelf. It's just um, Parmesan cheese. If you have some Parmesan cheese at home, you can add that on the top just for a little garnish, for the extra flavor. It's up to you. Do whatever you want. All right, so we got some penne. got some beautiful bell peppers. We got our chicken breast here. You could also use chicken thighs, your favorite chicken. Do whatever you want. We got some oil, jerk sauce back here. Now, I substitute ragu sauce because for some reason I couldn't find any Alfredo sauce, top brand, in any of the stores. You guys buy them off. I love it. I love it. So I saw my sister in the store too. She's looking for sauce. I'm like, probably gonna have to go with something else. As long as it comes from tops, it's not a big deal. All right, let's do it. So let's start with our chicken. If you have gloves, use gloves. If you don't, that's fine. As long as you're washing your hands, you should be just fine. Chicken breasts. Take the tenderloin off. These make great snacks too, the tenderloins. We're going to slice this because this is a bigger breast. I'm going to slice it open, which you call a butterfly in the kitchen. In the culinary world, we call it butterfly. So slice it open. And if you have jerk seasoning, you just rub the jerk seasoning on it and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. And then you go from there. For the jerk sauce now, I'm just going to put it in my bowl. You guys can see that. If I'm going too fast, let me know. I'm just going to pour the sauce over it. In the meantime, get your water boiling for your pasta. Let that sit for a minute or two. Let that, that flavor penetrate. Looking good, should be looking like this. So I got my water over here boiling already. On a slow simmer, I'm gonna turn it up. Get some flame in that. And just let this sit over here, you guys can see that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Let's cut your peppers. It's a little warm in here, man. Beautiful day over here. All right. Put it open. Garbage can. Some of those 
seeds out, you want to get the segments out. Because the segment of the pepper and the belly is really soft, so you don't want that in your dish. You're going to make it soggy, you don't want that. You don't want no soggy peppers in your rasta pasta. And if you're at home, just you know, jam to some island music. Let's play some music, have some fun with the family in the kitchen. But that's what cooking is all about. Loving what you do, enjoying it, right? So if you don't want to use half all of the pepper, you can just use half of it. That works too. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to use half. This is just me and the wife. She's somewhere around here. But if you like, from a family of four, you definitely use all of it. Um, so all the colors I'm using, red, gold, and green. The colors of the island. Red, gold, and green. Okay, the water is boiling. I'm just going to give you guys a little more time so your water can get boiling like mine. Alright, so I got all my colors. We're going to take the segments out, the belly. So you can lay nice and flat. When we're cutting it, so you don't cut those fingers off, you're going to need them. Segments out. Man, it's warm in here. The stove on. Alright. So first thing first, let's talk about knife skills. Very important in the kitchen. When you're holding a knife, you want to make sure you pinch your knife in a nice grip. I don't want to see you cutting like this. It's turning tendon in your hands. You want to make sure nice and firm, nice grip. Pinch. Fingers, finger motion. In culinary school, we call this a claw motion. So you're going to have two in front. You're guarding the knife. If you guys can see that. And you want to have the rest of your fingers holding the peppers down. So you're going to slice. I'm just making strips. In the cooking world, we call it julienne. Just thin strips. Don't worry about the speed. The speed will come. What's most important right now is technique. But those of you that know me and follow me in the media, they know I love to cook with colors. As you can see, look at Top's brand. All these beautiful colors. You gotta love it. All right, my water is boiling. Pasta looking good. Make sure you salt the water. So when you're cooking pasta, you salt your water and taste it. It should taste like the ocean. A little more. Nothing worse than a bland noodle. You don't want that. We're going in. Mix that up. Let that cook. Continue with the peppers. Normally I'll use red, gold, which is yellow. And green peppers. I saw this orange pepper at top, so I'm like, oh, this looks beautiful. I can add it too, why not? More flavor, right? So that's done. Garlic. I like to take the head off, the slice. That's what I said, if you um, don't like garlic that much, 
and one close. Press, nice and flat. And we're going to chop. Remember the motion, rocking back and forth. And always when you're using a cutting board, you want to make sure you put a rag underneath. A wet rag so it doesn't slip all over the place. Nice mint. I wanna love you. Love garlic, man. Alright. Check on your chicken. Looking great. Alright. So let's start cooking our chicken. Flame on. So you don't want to get this pan too hot because the marinade is going to flare up. You don't want that. So if you're using like a dry seasoning, no, that would be great. You can just put it in however. For the marinade, you know, you have to sort of like a medium eat. And don't worry about too much flavor on the chicken, though, because we're going to add the jerk sauce into the Alfredo and mix it all together. It's going to be beautiful. This is just a starter, the jump start for the chicken, you know what I mean? Put the oil in the pan. I believe my recipe said a tablespoon. It's enough. I got a bigger pan, so just enough to cover the base. Swirling around. That's what we look like. Looking good. This pan is beautiful. I can see my teeth in it. Alright, so we you can test it to make sure it's to the point you need just a little tap. Oh, we're ready. See, medium meat. Man, this smells amazing already. Then your chicken. Give your neighbor some. No, you should be making this too. Teach him a lesson. As what I said before, if you're not cooking with me right now, just take notes. Sit back on the lazy boy chair and just take notes and you can make it. Make it next week. Nice little side dish, right? Not really, it's a full meal. It's a full meal. Alright, so let's cook on our pasta. We're gonna stir this up a little bit. Stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. Woo! Man, this boy can sing, man. My wife gonna agree with that though. <laughs> I'm the best singer in the show, you know what I mean? So we don't want to overcook the pasta. There's nothing worse than overcooked Brussels sprouts and, and pasta, no. Which I always make fun of my wife because she likes her pasta cook a little more, which you like what you like, right? Alright. Marine is turning like syrup in the pan right now. In as you go, and as soon as we take this chicken out, we're going to use that same pan with the peppers and the garlic. As you can see, the steps are really easy for this dish. Cook your pasta, put it aside. Cook your chicken, take it out, we're going to saute up our peppers, our garlic, we're going to add our sauce, our Alfredo sauce, or you could make your own if you, if you don't. Find anything on the store you like, just make your own. 
I know I'm going to make my own, but for this segment, I love to, you know, we're promoting tops, right? Alright, chicken looking good. What are you guys doing over here? You guys doing okay? Am I going too fast? I'm going to slow down. Let me know if you have any questions. Now we go. I can't wait to announce what I'm making next, which you guys pretty much know, but um, that one is going to be perfect for this summer. Cook out with your family. You know, summertime is all about, you know, baked beans and, you know, nice little side dish to go with hot dogs. You can even put any hot dog in your burgers. Mmm, delicious. That's what my son would say. Mmm. Alright. in the pan. Let's turn this on, get some of that smoke put over here. Alright, so we're going to get into some oil to release that. The oil is kind of deglazing the pan right now to get those beautiful flavor on those peppers. for at least three minutes. Check your pasta. Because, as you know, it continues cooking. Beautiful. Make sure you don't burn yourself now. This. What we're going to do, we're going to put some cold water on our pot. 
awesome. This is the start the cooking process. More water. And then, let me show you guys my peppers. What my peppers look like. Beautiful. Garlic time. Garlic in. Take it to a whole different level now. Some people say garlic is too strong for them. So I'm like, it's, it's so good for you. There's so much health benefits to it. Alright, we're going to add some sauce. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Alright, here we go. Sauce in. Even kids can cook this at home, it's so simple. Alright. I believe I mentioned in my recipe that um, you can add salt to the chicken before you cook it, but you don't need to because there's so much flavor in the jerk marinade or jerk seasoning. But this is where you add your salt if you need salt. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Mmm. I'm gonna still add a little more, little more fire to it. Nice if I mean heat. Remember in culinary school they used to call me the fireball. Because I love slow of fire. Love of fire and love of heat. Alright, let me grab my chicken. You guys looking? You want me to slow down? Can you guys keep up with the chant? Come on, man, talk to me. <laughs> All right, pasta in. Still steaming. We're about to eat in minutes. So I'm gonna leave a little pasta so you can make some egg noodles. You know, breakfast. My wife's favorite. We scramble up some eggs, pasta. Some cold meat, ketchup. We're done. We have breakfast. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So the thing is, we're going to have, we are going to have different color because we use, for example, if you use jerk seasoning instead of jerk marinade or jerk sauce, you're gonna have a different color than me, so don't feel like you're gonna have the same color as me. Time to cut up our chicken. Mm, chicken is so juicy. Mm, mm, mm. You can either put the chicken on top or mix it in. Here we go. Here we go. Turn my pan down. Here we go. We're going to slice. So when you're slicing chicken, you have to make sure to see where the grain is going. You don't want to slice within because it's going to be tough. If you wonder why you need this stuff, especially steak, you have to go against the grain to cut all of those grain up. All right. Go this way. 
So this chicken was resting. As you can see, it's beautiful. It was resting for the perfect amount of time. As you can see, the juice stays in it when I cut it up. And you can all you can put this chicken in, you can mix it in or just put it on top. It's up to you. For me, I'm gonna put the chicken in. Mix it up. Try your food, right? You gotta know what you're serving to people. Are we done? Time to eat. We got it all. So, for all of you guys that know me, you know I take pride in my plating. This is how I do it. If anything go on the hedge, be sure to wipe it off. That's what I said. The color is going to depend on what you use, what type of jerk seasoning or jerk sauce you use. But the flavor should still be the same. Still call Rasta pasta. What they say, don't be an impasta, eat Rasta pasta. Probably I said that one. I need that one up today. All right, we're gonna wipe our plates. And this just, mm, 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 mm. That's what I said, I got some Parmesan cheese laying around. I love cheese, I love cheese. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on top just because. Just because I have it, right? I'm gonna wipe again. Can you get a close up for them so you can see? Enjoy. so much for tuning in cooking along with me I'll see you guys soon which is July 1st I'll be cooking another one of my favorite recipe calico beans be sure I believe it's I believe it's full already though but get all the ingredients at your friendly neighborhood tops and reach out if you have any question Get the ingredients and cook along with me. If, if you don't get the ingredient box, you can still cook along with me. Alright? Thank you so much. Thank you, Buffalo Spray, Tops Market for this. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Alright? I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. July 1st, Calico Beans. Perfect dish for you July 4th. Perfect July 4th ish, alright? See you guys. Enjoy. Thank you.